hundreds gather in Miami to protest this night, clogging traffic, making their voices heard, protesting police killings in Missouri and New York, and the tasing death of a graffiti artist here by a Miami Beach police officer. Protesters also shut down Interstate I-195 in Miami. Part of the demonstrations across the area, many people were in town for Art Week-related events, and that just added to the chaos tonight. Michael Williams is live in the middle of it all on the corner of Northwest 36th and Northwest 1st Avenue. Michael? Good evening. I'm standing in the heart of Midtown Miami along 36th Street, Northwest 1st Avenue, an area that's been revitalized over the years. But tonight, the energy came from hundreds of protesters moving up and down these streets after, for a time as we look north, they walked along 195, moving east and west, blocking traffic, making their voices heard. Here's a look at those protesters. Around 6 o'clock, they began gathering here, and they did so in the heart of Art Basel, the International Art Festival. But it wasn't art here. They wanted to paint with broad brush strokes their frustration, their demands, their anger, their concerns about what has happened, both because of grand jury decisions in Missouri, where an officer was not indicted in the shooting death of unarmed teen Michael Brown. And as you look at footage of traffic being clogged here tonight, and separate video we have in, also angry over the chokehold death in New York of Eric Gardner. Again, a New York grand jury deciding not to indict there. And here in Miami Beach, a young man, Rafa Hernandez, who died in a tasing death. He was graffitiing an abandoned building when he was tased by a Miami Beach police officer and died. And people are saying enough is enough. And so they came here clogging traffic for a time, making their voices heard much more and intermingling with the people here for an art event. They said right now it is the reality of what's happening that they want to be front and center. Here's what one protester had to say. We are sick and tired of our young people, people of color being killed by the police like we are nothing. Social media so often now helps drive and coalesce these protests, partly organized tonight by groups in Miami, but social media, big tool. I'm with Veranda Williams yes. from Boca Raton. And Veranda, you're showing me what you saw. What was this? You saw this on social media as we zoom in, a call to come to Miami. Yes, I saw this on Occupy Miami, and I came home from work, and I decided to come down. Veranda, you graduated from law school at Florida A&M. Fundamentally, why are you here? What's your message tonight? I'm here for three reasons. As an attorney, I wanted to make sure that the peaceful protesters were not unjustly arrested. And it was very peaceful here on all sides. Peaceful. And also, I wanted to make sure that these people knew that they have an attorney that will support them and give them legal ways to voice their frustrations. And your frustration is simply what? My frustration is that the justice system is broken and it needs to be fixed. It's unequal for people that are brown and black. And it's not just us saying it, it's the truth. And so we need to, we need to mobilize and get change within the system. And Veronda, you talked to me uh, off camera a while ago. You think one of the best ways is to start coming to these rallies, get people to organize, get them out to vote, find candidates you feel will listen to them, and this will not be the last time you'll be out here. Right. We got to get more people to say, I'll be the change I want to see. We got to get people to run for office. We can't just keep voting for the same old people. Veronda Williams down here from Boca Raton tonight with her family, her mother and your and her daughter as well who came down here. Now, I said social media helped drive this. We have other photos in from one of our sister stations on Miami showing people laying in the streets in 29th Street, just a short distance from where I am in the heart of Midtown Miami. This was earlier tonight. Die-ins, they call them, where they lay in the street. And we're seeing these kind of protests both on highways and byways in the streets and so on and so forth around the country, as you well know. And for more on all of that, we're going to go to Megan McRoberts as she looks at Twitter, one of the tools used tonight where the conversation yeah, Michael, going on. She's live in our studio with more. Megan? Pictures from the protest, those die-ins, like you mentioned, a very popular image here on social media. Here's another one right from that protest. You see hundreds of people in the street just inches away from each other packing here into Miami Avenue. Many pictures just like this. Of course, those die-ins simulating being dead on the ground. Here you see people laying in the roads representing the death of Eric Gardner. And of course, all these people in the roads only leads to traffic problems. Here's more images people are posting being blocked in that traffic. You may uh, remember this weekend is a busy weekend down in Miami for the Art Bazaar Art Festival. That protest also was 
headed towards that festival as well. So just very packed weekend, but of course a great opportunity with that many people being in town to get more exposure for these protests. Now I did speak with a local community activist here in Palm Beach County, Franklin uh, Patrick with the Palm Beach County Urban League. He tells me what he thinks of these protests and the likelihood of something like this he thinks of coming to our area. Take a listen. I think it, it, it's highly probable that, that, that a march will happen in, in our West Palm Beach, Palm Beach County community. Uh, I don't see no reason why it, it wouldn't because I have heard many, many, many people call the Urban League and voice their opinion and their displeasure in what's happening and they want to be heard also. Now we have reached out to local law enforcement, both the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and West Palm Beach Police Department, just to see if they are bracing for any possible protests in this area. They so so far they have not been given any alerts. They do keep in touch. They say with Homeland Security, though, should they need to prepare for any added safety measures. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5. More protests tonight in New York City. This is the Columbus Circle area at the southwest corner of Central Park tonight, where some officers are wearing body cameras in New York City. Anger and frustration over the grand jury's decision this week not to indict an NYPD officer in the death of that unarmed man continues to boil over for the third day in a row. From Oakland to Washington, D.C., to New York, thousands of protesters have taken to the streets. Stay with News Channel 5 on air and online at WPTV.com. We'll have updates on any new protests. You'll find those updates on our mobile app. News Channel 5 at 11 is back in 60 seconds. Coming up. America enters a new era. Why this launch could be the start of sending humans further from Earth than ever. Plus, find out why a buy button could soon be the next big thing on Facebook. It's almost time for the annual office holiday party, the do's and don'ts you need to know to make it through unscathed. You're watching News Channel 5 on WPTV, local coverage you can count on. And liftoff at dawn. America is entering the Mars era with the successful launch of the next generation Orion deep space capsule. Today's maiden voyage is described as flawless, perfect, above expectations. Powerful images of Orion climbing through the clouds over the Kennedy Space Center, along with some stunning images in space from cameras mounted on the capsule, and then that pinpoint splashdown. It all adds up to a picture-perfect mission. When we started at JSC, we started with all the Apollo guys still there. So we've kind of now finally done something for the first time for our generation. It's a good day. An emotional day, too. There will be at least one more unmanned test flight. <laughs> 